This is the most exciting unboxing that I will ever do in my life. Kasi nga, ito po ang hinahanap po ngayon, guys. Legit gaming phones! And probably the best for the price, no? Kasi ROG, medyo mahal. Red Magic, medyo mahal. Mm -hmm. Pero si Black Shark 5 and 5 Pro, there's something different, majorly different, between this and the Black Shark 4 last year. Ang swerte ko kasi, ito talaga magiging phone ko, C5 Pro. I'm going to keep this because this ito talaga yung nakita ko na na-unpacks ko na to uh, gusto ko lang ipad sa inyo para sa akin para sa'yo bro yes meron ka Ay. meron ka rin but don't worry guys meron din kayo kasi meron tayong giveaway na naman may pag-giveaway naman one lucky subscriber check out the descriptions below for more information oh, pag nakita mo yung design nito ibang iba na kay Black Shark 4 si Black Shark 4 ay medyo pangit as in ugly duckling siya as in pag nakita mo siya uh. but guys si Black Shark 5 na oh. It's a major improvement. Mas pogi pa siya kay ROG Phone 5. Promise. Oh. But of course, hindi lang yun. Siyempre, maganda rin yung specs. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor dito. Snapdragon 870 processor naman kay non-pro version. 700,000 points and to, to benchmark. 1 million points and to, to benchmark. Oh my God! Actually, sa kahit anong phone, this is going to be so epic. Marami pong inilagay dito. Not only sa design yung major difference, but also sa display. Also triggers, sa features, and pretty much everything, it is a major overhaul in their gaming phone lineup. So without further ado, let us unbox the Black Shark 5 series. Up to Bins! At ako si Cleo! And you're watching Unbox Diaries! Okay, game. So, si non-pro version mo na. Ang grabe, ang ganda ng box. Very modern, very mm. parang alien-like, no? Parang palaban na cellphone. Yes, uh, kung sino man nag-design ito, oh. uy, high-res high audio pa. Audio? Well, actually, bro, narinig ko na siya. Mm. Ang sound niya sobrang lakas, mas malakas pa kaysa sa iPhone 13 Pro Max ko. Totoo ba? Yes. Matatry ba natin mamaya, sir? Yes, paparinig ko sa inyo mamaya. Okay, okay. Let us unbox this beast. Ganda rin this. Oh, ang ganda ng design. Under the ordinary reality, an extraordinary journey shall begin. Masyad mahaba. Stay tuned. <laughs> My SIM ejector pin. Ito yung kanyang. Uy, yung jelly case. Ang ganda. Oh. Specially tailored. Made mm -hmm. para sa kanya. Wait lang, sir. Para sa yung butas dito, sir? Para yan sa ilaw niya. Ang ilaw po yung phone. May ilaw yan? Yes, mamaya para oh, sa yan. Okay, yun. Know? Siyempre, may kasama siyang whoop sticker. Of course, may kasama siyang quick start guide. Ito na yung phone. Look. <laughs> Look at the charger. What the... Oh... Ibang iba na ang itsura niya. Kasi yung 4 bro, kung mapansin mo yung camera niya, mm -hmm. ibang iba na. Si 4 yung pa straight na ganun. Yung mukha siyang Samsung Note. Mm -hmm. ganun. Ito. Look Eba. at that. Wow. Kung mayroon yan. Uh, ito po yung ilaw niya. Yeah. Check that out. Pero ito bro, talagang nagulot ako yeah. sa size na charger. What? Ang isinama guys. Sa non-pro version ay isang 120 watts fast charger. This laptop level. Uh, ito po yung charger ng aming MacBook. Di ba? What? Almost, no? Sabi ni Black Shark, 15 minutes lang. 0 to 100%. 15? 15 minutes. Mmm. Patunayan natin yan. Nasara. Yes. Oh, isang palabas lang yan ng ano, yung tie. Anong sinabi mo? Uh, huh? yeah, no. Anime pala. No? Anime. Anime pala. And, ito na. Orange ang loob. Okay, so yan po si Nan Pro. Kamusta naman? Si Pro version. Actually, mas social ang Pro version. You get the signature S logo right there. Meron na siyang HDR10 plus na raw. 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, stellar black. Meron pa siyang nebula white. I think that's what the people want to see. The stellar black. You know what they say, once you go black, you never go back. Ayan po, same no? We're getting the same level of quality in terms of casing sa kanyang pro and non-pro version. Correct. Sticker and the manuals. Ito na po si pro version. Usually kasi kapag kasi namin pro, parang kamukha pa rin. Ganun pa rin siya. Mas pinagadal ng specs. Well, contrary to many's belief, because this one, mas malupit. Mas social. Grabe. Frosted matte back finish. Pakita ko lang saglit, no? Ito glossy. Ito, sarap awakan. It feels like a professional device. Same with 120 watts. Actually, ito yung nagpabigat tong box. Ito talaga yung mabigat sa box, no? 120 watt charger. Same sila. And you also get the USB Type-C cable. Ito! So, ito na yung design, guys. As you can see, there's a little bit difference between the two, no? Sa dapat siguro dito is, mas premium talaga yung pro version. Although, para sila in terms of shape and size, ang nag-different kay Pro version is yung kanyang mas premium na design, build quality, and of course, iba na ang material na to. This is plastic, 
And this is glass. Very high quality glass, ha? Feeling ko Corning Gorilla Glass to. Mm -hmm. Solid eh. Now, para sa akin, parang ang simple na itsura ni Black Shark 5. As you can see, it has that glossy gradient back design that you see on many mid-range phones. Mm -hmm. Ito naman mukha siyang flagship phone. Actually, from any previous Black Sharks. Kasi si Black Shark Bro, no, ito yung... Si Black Shark made you weird ang design, no? Parang alien-like, mm. out of this world design. But today, it totally looks like a flagship phone, no? Correct. Yes, parang mas feeling ko. What we really need is a flagship-looking phone. Na pwede mong ipagyapan kay Karino at kahit naglalaro ka, pogi parin siya. Pro version, as you can see, frosted matte finish design. Meron siya mga circuitry right there. Parang siya mukhang advanced na unit, mm. no? It feels like it's all about the performance. No? Ganon din si non-pro version. Kaya lang hindi masyado makita dahil sa lighting. Ito talaga halata siya. Ang ganda kasi ng materials. Medyo medyo different na rin. Kaya kumaya ang malaman yan. Para sila mayroong pailaw sa likod. Pero mas sato lang itsura ni pro version. May S sila parehas. Iba lang yung positioning. Parehas din yung kanilang camera module. As you can see right there. One, two, three. Meron sa malaking main camera. And of course, you got a microphone at the back. Pero... Si Pro version mukhang mas maganda yung kanyang lighting kasi meron siyang dalawang dual tone LED flash. Si Nan Pro, isa lang. Oh, by the way, speaking of the camera, mas maganda syempre ang camera ni Pro version. 108MP compared sa 64MP ni Nan Pro. And ito pa, ang lamang ni Pro version meron pa siyang 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and 5 megapixel telephoto lens. Si Nan Pro, 13 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens lang. So, yes, wow. If you truly want the flagship experience, mag pro version ka. Pero bro, ito ha. Even though plastic ito, this mm -hmm. is metal right here. Kasi meron siya mga antenna bands right there. Para sa po silang metal body, antenna bands, antenna bands. Para sa po silang solid hawakan, it, they feel very good on my hands. Ay, kailangan ng tubig bro. Oh, kailangan ng tubig. Nag-stop lang kami ng ano, shoot kanina kasi nagka-allergy ako ng buong katawan ko at hindi makay nga. So, na-hospital ako at na-emergency room po. Pero, yun, bumalik ako agad kasi I wanna finish the video. But yes, kung mapasin mo bro, kakaiba yung pro version. Si Nan Pro, parang plastic talaga yung feel. Mm -hmm. Kahit sa sides, no? Even though merong antenna bands, parang hindi ako convinced na ito yung metal. Ito naman kay pro version, uy, this does feel like aluminum, no? Pero ito, ito yung nakakagulat sa kanya. Ito yung wala sa may ibang flagship phone. Although meron ito sa may ibang gaming phones. Feeling ko, Si Black Shark lang talaga yung pinaka-legit when it comes to pop-up triggers sa sides. Mm -hmm. Ito po yun guys ha, meron po siyang switch dito slider. Kapag uh, ginanon mo, lalabas po yung kanyang pop-up triggers. Which is neat no, ito yung para sa mga Call of Duty, mm -hmm. para sa madali yung barilan. Kasi paulit-ulit kasi yung buttons ng no? button press, ang kalam mo lang pala. Ito, mas madali ito eh. At saka this gives your hand some space when you're playing the game. Instead of ganito, kasi usually ganyan no? Ah, oh, sir. Ganyan na. And of course, meron na yan sa Black Shark 4. It's no surprise, but yes, we've got here the power button sa medyo gitna banda. Sa left side naman, iso kanyang volume rockers. Sa taas naman, yung speaker nila at isang microphone. Sa ilalim, uy, dalawang speakers siya. Pares silang dalawang speakers. Although hindi sinabi kong Dolby Atmos, Dolby what? BTS or anything. Pero bro, ang lakas talaga ng sounds. Mamaya, USB Type-C port, microphone, and yung kanyang SIM tray. Oh, by the way, pares silang walang uh, micro SD card slot for expandability. Pero kasi ganun yun eh. Alam ni Black Shark na when it comes to gaming, you need to install talaga sa SSD niya para sa mabilis talaga yung games. And for me, yung 256GB is more than enough. But this is the impressive part of the phone. Siyempre, lahat ng ginagawa mo ay sa display. And the display is very impressive. 6.67 inch, 144Hz parehas din, Samsung E4 AMOLED display na mayroong up to 720Hz touch sampling rate para sila merong HDR10+, 10-bit din sila, 100% DC IP3 color gamut, meron ng MEMC, DC dimming, at meron pa siyang SGS Eye Care Certificate. Meron siya nun? Yes, wow. grabe at nindin, no? Mm -hmm. Para sila merong up to 850 nits of brightness ka. Very good. Napakalinaw. Hindi maliwanag pala yan, sir, kahit sa modalin, no? Yes, oh, sobra. Pero si bro, yung mga flagship phone, hindi maabot ng 720 hertz touch sampling rate. Mm -hmm. At 144 hertz. Parang bumabari lang, oh. 
parang walang bala yan, sir. Nawala. Nawala. Yun. Yung isa baril, yung isa tubig. Oo. Uy, ba't ganun? Bro, ang liit ng punch hole ni non version Mas malaki ng konti, si pro version Ba't ganun? Oo nga, no? Baby, lock the doors and get... Ano yung kaya ito, eh? But yes, chinek ko na bro sa kanyang refresh rate settings. Tinan mo ito, ah. Si pro version meron siyang auto. Si non pro ay merong standard, ultra high, ultimate. Well, meron naman din si pro version Kaya lang, nawawala ang auto niya dito sa non pro. Oh. Pero si bro, yan yung kanyang bagong feature dito. Dahil nga na meron siya up to 144Hz of refresh rate, pwede ka na pumili kung ano yung klaseng refresh rate ng pwede sa display mo. Pwede 60, 90, 144Hz. Ang itsura ng display ni Pro version ay mas pa square. Tapos si non-pro naman ay medyo pa rounded. Yes, check out those bezels right there. Mas pa square to ito, rounded. Galing napansin mo yung sir, ha? Yes. The main difference is mas premium siya tingnan. Parang iPhone, di ba? Mapa square, ganon. Mm. Ito, ito, medyo pa Android yung kanyang ano, papunta. Papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part. Yan. But as of this recording, well, we're not getting the 90 frames per second in Call of Duty for now, no? Sa dalawang to, I think it's a big missing feature kasi nga, sobrang bilis na ng processor nito, bro. Speaking of the processor, ito na, you need to see this, guys. Unang-una, si Black Shark 5 with the Snapdragon 870 processor, boom! 711,000? Yes, oh, dati nasa 600,000 na yan or 500,000 si Snapdragon 870. Pero ito, umabot na siya ng 700,000. Mm. Which is, kasing bilis na niya si Snapdragon 888 mm -mm. in terms of speed. Wait lang, sir. Pagdating ba saan to, to sino ang number one ngayon? Si Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Oh. Which is ang uh, nakalagay dito. Oh! That's right. 1 million points ang to, to benchmark. Nakaabot din siya. Hindi na si Redmond na kinakaabot. Sobrang future-proof nito. Kaya nga nagtatakot. Guys, no, uh, gaming phone makers out there, this is very important. If you're planning on putting 120, 144Hz refresh rate na ganito yung kanyang performance, kaya kaya kasi nito. Huwag nyong kalimutan makipagtrabaho sa mga game developers. Ilagay yung setting nyo dyan na pwede siya sa so 120, 144 FPS. Kasi mababaliwala talaga. But of course, here it is. Actual gameplay yeah. from the phone. Ito nangyinitin ng mga tao, no? Mm. Mobile Legends! Now in terms of optimization, as of this recording, ito lang po yung kanyang setting sa Mobile Legends. High refresh rate, ultra graphics. Okay. Alam mo na yun, bro, no? May mga mid-range, entry-level phones mm. na nag-offer ng ano, ultra graph, ultra refresh mm. rate, no? Pero ito, hanggang high refresh rate lang. So, ibig sabihin nun, guys, you can't fully utilize Correct. the 144Hz refresh rate sa game. Well, at least for this game. Pero, ang game changer naman ito is yung kanyang experience, no? Well, for me, since yung kanyang design is all about gaming, flat yung display, curved back, lalo lalo na si Pro version, ang sarap hawakan pag naglalaro ng ganito. Although, syempre, hindi mo gagamitin dito yung kanyang pop-up triggers, kasi nga, directional kasi yung kanyang skills, no? Mm -hmm. Ito kasi nga, uh, pop-up triggers ay para sa stationary lang na pagpindot. So, uh, sa Call of Duty na talaga siya ginagamit. But yes, uh, in terms of speed, smoothness, no? Gameplay, ang smooth niya. Walang problema sa Mobile Legends. Walang frame drops. Dito mo rin malalaman na hindi pa siya ka-optimize kasi nga, mm. yung kanyang ultra graphics, si Black Shark 5 Pro ay uh, naka-grade out yung kanyang ultra. So once na napindot mo yung kanyang high graphics, baka hindi ka na makabalik sa ultra. Ah, yes, o. Oh. Hindi, hindi pwede. Dapat uh, naka-free up na yan. Mm. Naka-unlock na dapat yan. As of this recording. Uh, oh. If you're pulling this out, right now, everybody is expecting na optimized na for gaming to. Mm. Yun na yun kasi yun. But yes, no, kung uh, may patience ka naman, hopefully, maglabas siya ng ultra refresh rate, ultra graphics dito para ma-fully maximize mo ang kanyang performance. And don't worry, parehas mo silang nagba-max out sa 60fps na no, si Black Shark 5 and 5 Pro. Kaya na syempre, if this is the only reason you're buying the phone, pwede mag-5 ka na lang. No? There's no reason why you should go for the Pro version. Kasi nga, ganito na yung kanyang max settings mm -hmm. dito sa game. Okay, so Call of Duty naman tayo. Dito magagamitin yung kanyang pop-up triggers. With the pop-up triggers, meron tayong Master Assist sa taas. No? Sa pagka swipe mo, diagonally sa taas, may lalabas na panel. And right here, Pwede mo nang i-map yung kanyang shoulder triggers to any virtual button on the display. For example, yung shoot, yung scope, yun yung madalas na inuulit-ulit sa laro, no? Paulit-ulit na pindutan. So, ito na, shoot, right trigger, oh, mas masarap. Tapos sa left naman, scope, tapos, syempre, yung sa ilalim, yung galawan, tapos yung lundag, sa right side naman, so mas marami ka ng space for your hands to work with. Mas komportable siya compared sa traditional, lahat na sa display. Parang daya siya, actually. Uh, sometimes, no, 
kahit sobrang galing natin kung yung ating mga gamit ay hindi nakakasabay. Isipin mo, ikaw yung pinakamagaling na player sa buong mundo. Oh. Pero nagre-red ping ka lagi. Oh, so, kahit anong galing mo dyan guys, wala talaga. Yun lang. Hanggang doon lang talaga yung mm -hmm. limit mo. Kaya it's super important for me to have a very reliable hardware. And not only that bro ha, uh, natry ko rin yung kanyang 720Hz wow. touch sampling rate. Sobrang responsive talaga niya. Sometimes, especially sa mga FPS na games, no? yung mga shooter games, response time is crucial. Kung pro player ka, hmm. ayaw mong naiiwan kasi minsan, no, konting galaw mo lang, no? konting hmm. uh, lingon mo lang, patay ka na. So, dapat nakasabay ka. Nakasabay yung movement mo. It's always important for the touch response and the display response para pag-refresh niya, guys, no? pag-refresh niya agad, mas nauna ka sa pagtingin dun sa actual gameplay kaysa sa inyong kalaban. That's okay. actually true. This is already cheating. Kapag meron kang ganito, nandadaya ka sa laro. Wala well, is kung ma marunong ka talaga maglaro. O, syempre, iba pa yun eh. Yun lang, wala siyang 90 frames per second sa Call of Duty. Although, ah, grabe, ang ganda ng graphics. Kahit walang ganon, ito lang, ay ang ganda. Sobrang ganda ng graphics, guys. It, it looks so smooth. Parang PC game. Sobrang klaro. The graphics looks so realistic. Talagang nagpa-pop siya dito. Mm -hmm. Especially, it's a Samsung E4 AMOLED. That's another thing. Pero siguro nagdala dito para sa akin, no? The reason why I chose it more than... My flagship phones is yung kanyang sound quality. So, narinig nyo yun? Mm -hmm. Grabe, no? Diba? Mas malakas siya. Mas malinis pakinggan kaysa mm -hmm. sa iPhone ko. Yes, uh, in terms of sound quality overall, no? Mas malakas actually si Blackshark 5 kaysa kayo 5 Pro. Pero pare sila mas malakas sa iPhone 13 Pro Max. For sure. Yun nga lang, ang nilamang talaga ni 5 Pro is yung kanyang audio quality. Mas malinis siya pakinggan. Mas klaro, mas detailed. Hindi siya sabog. Parang tunog lata yung sound ng Black Shark 5. It sounds like yung mga jeeps sa Kubaw. I like them there. Ganyan yung mga sounds. Ito talaga guys, buong buo. Babo, I like them there. O, yun yun. Para doon yan. Tanga! Which is para sa akin, parang... This is the best sounding phone I've ever heard. Hands down, walang sinabing Dolby Atmos, DTS, Harman Kardon. This is so far the best I've heard. Grabe kasi yung volume. Ganyan dapat guys. Actually, nilaki nila yung kanyang physical cone. Yung kanyang speaker. Malak talaga yung kanyang speaker. Kaya ang lakas ng tunog. It is stereo. Pero parang surround yung dating eh. Sa lakas niya. Sa quality, grabe. Parang surround sound. Oh, by the way, yung kanyang triggers ay pwede mo palang i-shortcut no, sa homepage. Ayan po, kapag ka in-slide mo, may lalabas pong virtual buttons dyan na pwede mong i-assign sa kahit anong feature. So, kapag ka kinlik mo, shortcut. Oh. Ganda, ba? Although, hindi siya bago. Mayroon hmm. sa 4. Ang bago dito is yung kanyang light effects, no? Ayan. Check that out. Pwede siyang ganito. Pwede gumaganyan. Oh, ganda. RGB. Ganda. Oh, wow. Well, actually, hindi lang naman si Pro version yan. Meron din si non-Pro version. Oh, diba? Pati si non-Pro, meron RG. So, kung walang budget dito, pwede naman to. Yan po yung kanyang light effects. Type nyo na sa settings, light effect. At pwede nyo i-assign sa kahit anong klaseng activity na sa phone. Kapag may tumawag, ganito yung ilaw niya. Kapag ka nag-charge ka, ganito yung ilaw niya. Kapag ka naka-on yung screen, pwede mo rin i-customize yan para cool na cool. Sa Genshin Impact naman, ganito yung itsura niya. Well, actually, kahit sa Black Shark 5 pa lang, 60 FPS na to, solid. Dahil nga sobrang bilis ng Snapdragon 870 processor, it's able to go to 60 FPS consistent at the highest settings. Well, consistent siya kapag ka wala masyadong nangyari sa display. No? Kapag kaya lang pag may boss na ramdam mo na mag-40 siya, 50. Oh. Yes. Pero kung gusto mo talagang solid 60 FPS, Kahit nagbo-boss, kahit maraming nangyayari, maraming animation, maraming tao sa screen, dito na lang kay Pro version. Malaki yung difference nila. 300,000 points ang difference. Grabe. Ni 5 Pro kaysa kay 5. It's a huge step up in terms of performance. So, that's why kung makita nyo dito guys, malaki talagang difference. Ayan o, so nakikita mo na. Parang sobrang smooth talaga nitong Pro version. Ay, ang layo actually. Sobrang layo. The graphics is just so good. Oh, by the way, kung nga hindi kinakaya ni 5, no, na... I-steady yung 60 FPS, pwede mo siyang i-ludicrous mode. That's oh. right, meron siyang ludicrous mode. Ano ba yung ludicrous mode na yan? Just like Black Shark 4, meron siyang parang overclocking mechanism, no? Na pwede mong i-access mm. within the shark space. Ito talaga, fully featured gaming console level of experience. Kapag ka nag-shark space ka, all you need to do to access it is ilabas yung triggers, pack, and sabay silang i-press at lalabas to. That unlocks the shark space. It's not a secret app. 
But this essentially turns your phone into a Nintendo Switch, PS5, mga ganun. Kasi nga, walang ibang apps na nagraran dito, kundi yung mga games. The usual kasi ng mga cellphone kasi is parang sabay-sabay nagraran yung mga Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, bakit eh, habang nag-game ka, ganyan, pati may messenger pa. So, nakadistract lahat yon, no? Sa isang console naman, puro games lang talaga doon. Kung ano nilalaro mo, yun lang talaga yung gagawin mo doon sa... Pero apart from the fancy console interface, meron pa siya ibang features dito na sa kanya mo lang makuha, no? Kapag ka sa normal mode ka, wala kang yung panel sa taas na pag iniswipe mo, may diagonal na panel. Meron siya dito yung para monitoring ng kanyang FPS, yung performance ng CPU, yung battery level, yung signal mo, and of course, the ability to block calls, block messages and things like that. Pero syempre, there's other features na that makes it so advanced that even flagship phones does not have this. Ayun nga, yung overclocking, si ludicrous mm -hmm. mode. Meron din siyang changing of color, no? Yung whole look ng game, pwede mo siyang i-change gamit yung settings dito sa display. Pwede yung bright screen, vivid, ayan. Or pwede mo actually i-customize kung gusto mo mas colorful, mas vibrant yung color. And ultimate yung kanyang touch something rate, pwede mong baguhin dito kung gusto mong super sensitive talaga, you can actually slide it down right here from 720, 360, 240, mga ganon. Ibig sabihin, sir, sobrang advanced pala niyan pag sa gaming. Yes, sobrang advanced talaga. As in, all the features from previous Black Shark phones, nilagay nila dito plus more kasi nga ito ha, may mga bago din dito. Like si Magic Press. Magic Press? Yes. Meron sa pro version, no? Kapag ka-enable mo yan, Magic Press ito. Uh, meron parts sa ilalim ng screen na pwede mong pindutin, i-hold. Mm -hmm. Pak, may lalabas niya na apat na directions. One, two, three, four. Shortcut to guys, no? Kung gusto mong mag-back, mag-home screen, mag-scroll up ng mabilis. Yes, this is the shortcut magic press stuff. But yes, it has that new feature right here. Worth mentioning lang. Pero bro, uh, syempre, ang hanap ng mga tao is hindi lang pang gaming yung kanilang phone. Correct. Syempre, gusto nila yung parang all-in-one phone na. Like, mm -hmm. talagang flagship. Yung daily driver nila. Which means, kailangan maganda rin ang cameras. Tama. Diba? Siyempre, di ba pwede yung games ka lang games Correct. dito. Kailangan, kung nag-aaral ka, kailangan mong picture yung mga assignment, ganyan, mm -hmm. maganda ba, sharp pa tingnan, detailed. Mm -hmm. Well, good news! Dahil maganda ang cameras ni Black Shark na oh. may ko lang napansin na na well, actually guys, since Xiaomi rin yung you know, technology dito, yung actually yung app niya is Xiaomi din. Ay nako, ang ganda ng camera nila. Very similar to what Redmi or Xiaomi is providing. Similar ang kanilang image quality. Ayun. So right here, you will see the heart of Xiaomi. As you can see, the photos look very natural. Well, at least for the Pro version, no? Medyo saturated, medyo punchy na agad ang color ni Nan Pro. Siguro kasi, ganun, Nan Pro. Pag hindi kasi Nan Pro, wala ka ng editing, gusto mo agad maganda. Ano kasi Nan Pro? Kung Point mong, and shoot, no, sir? Yes, that's right. Uh, pero kung gusto mong room for improvement, marami ka pwedeng i-add or edit pa. Mas natural tingnan ang camera ni Pro version. Oh, by the way, 108MP pala si Pro version. Yes, uh, napansin ko nga na parang mas sharp siya, pero hindi mo siya lang natanong dito sa comparison natin mm -hmm. ngayon. It's not significantly uh, noticeable. Hindi siya katulad kapag ka flagship phones na labanan, like from Apple or Samsung. Doon talaga makita mo yung difference nila. Ito kasi guys, is since same yung kanilang developer or manufacturer or brand, uh, very similar yung kanilang itsura. So similar. Similar in dynamic range. Similar in AI scene detection. Actually bro, halos lahat pati mga features, they're pretty much identical, no? Lahat ng settings, up to 4K, 60 frames per second sa video. Going to more, ganun din, no? Same number of uh, settings. Nagkaiba lang yung 64 and 108. Nagkaiba lang talaga is yung kanilang image quality. Ito na pa yung sample ng mga videos. Okay, so ito yung sample ng kanyang rear cameras. Sino mas sharp? Parang mas sharp yung non-pro version pero ewan ko ba? Uh, malila yung aking mata. Sana malila yung mata ko. Ito naman yung kanyang tumbler. Look at the textures. Okay, so parang sa ilaw naman, parang mas white yung nasa kanan. Mas maganda yung contrast overall. Yeah, parang mas maganda yung contrast ng ano bro. Yung non-pro. Pero mas natural para sa akin si Pro version. Ah, kasi nga, pag Pro, gusto mo Pro settings. Yung parang room for improvement. Oh. Maraming room for improvement. Nan Pro, ayun na. Enhanced agad. Ayun. Point so, and shoot na si Nan Pro. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, mas uh, saturated nga. Mas kakaiba yung color nitong sa Nan Pro, no? Medyo reddish ako dito. Magenta yung aking itsura. Mm -hmm. Pero mas buhay ako tingnan sa Nan Pro. Siyempre, enhanced. Pero... Kung gusto mo na natural, mas suave, mas smooth dito talaga sa Pro version. And last but not least, yung night mode guys. For low light, 
since Xiaomi siya ang ganda ng low light night mode nila. I think uh, among all of the brands in terms of night mode, si Xiaomi yung si sa mga pinamagaling na mag-implement nitong technology nito. Ang swerte talaga ni Black Shark na Xiaomi talaga ginamit nila. Nakaka-proud. Ito yung Black Shark 5 ha. 8128, 26,999 pesos SRP. 12256 naman, 34,999 pesos. Yung Black Shark 5 Pro, 8128. 37,999 pesos only and the 12256 ay 43,999 pesos lang. Oh by the way, lahat po to starting from July 2 until July 18, customers can get a 1,000 pesos off plus freebies when purchasing the Black Shark 5 and the 5 Pro. Nice. Huh, grabe. Grabe. Ang ganda ng presyo. Napaka mura compared sa ibang gaming device ha. Ay grabe, wala masabi. Oh. All I can say is, this is the best Black Shark phone. Well, actually, the best gaming phone right now mm. in terms of price to specs ratio. Even better than the ROG Phone 5. Although si ROG Phone ang pogi niya, kaya lang kasi medyo overpriced siya for me. Mm. No muna, parang gusto mag ROG Phone 5 kasi nga, feeling ko talaga, mas lamang yung kay Asus. Pero, seeing the Black Shark 5 Pro in oh. action today, na yun lang, konting optimization na lang talaga, yun na lang yung kulang. Pero, if na optimize talaga to no uh, magkaroon ng update this is it this is the best gaming phone to date and i have a treat for all of you syempre at dahil dyan, giveaway not black shark 5 lang ha black shark 5 pro ang papamigin natin black shark 5 pro to one lucky subscriber yes swerte apaka swerte mo. legit grabe ang swerte mo bro or, mm -hmm. or gal and all you need to do is subscribe, hit the bell icon, and check out the descriptions down below. Ando yung manalog. Ah, grabe na. Ang dami natin pinamamigay. Sobra. Sa 2 million subscribers natin mm. na ano. Paano pa kaya, sir, pag nag-3 million ka this year? Ay, grabe yan. Diba? 3 million. Woo! Kaya, target uh, natin, guys, 3 million this year. Ma 100 year. iPhones sa pamigay ko. Uy! Gusto ko yan, ah. iPhone mm. 14 Ay. for everyone. Or? Or. Kung 4 million? Tiki, isa kayo lahat. Oy! Oh, 2 million subscribers! Merong iPhone! Ooh. Pero sir, 4 million ka na that time. 2 million pala ako. <laughs> <laughs> Next batch na yun. I-target muna natin guys yung 3 million. Gugong! Barinig kita sa mukha eh! Thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, Laki tulong ito sa akin. Boot na lang buhay pa ako. Mm -hmm. Thank you Lord for giving me another chance. Uh, thank you Cleo for... Uh, no? Nalagaan niya ako, no? Siya yung nagdala sa akin sa hospital. <laughs> Pati si Ate Abby, thank you so much guys. I love you all. And uh, if you want to see more videos just like this one, my gaming phones, solid phones, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great content. But si Vince, and you're watching Unbox Ladies.